Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm here with Austin, Ryan, and Tof, and today we are playing Pixar Jeopardy. We're gonna test our knowledge to see who knows Pixar films the best. Now, we all have these little buzzers here, so we can see who buzzes in first, and Austin is the one who has prepared the question, so I'm actually going to be playing along. Austin, take it away. So, much like our last Jeopardy board we had, this time it's gonna be based solely off Pixar films. You see what I did there? That was a pun. Solely off Pixar films. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I despise you. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, you all know the rules if you watched last time, but if you didn't, I'm going to have one of them choose one of these selections that you see in front of us, and then the question will appear on the screen. It will buzz in. Whoever buzzes in first will be able to answer that question. If they get it right, points for them. If they get it wrong, they lose points, and the next person up gets the answer. You guys got that? That was yeah. my downfall last time was buzzing in and forgetting that I lose points. Yeah. Is the, is, that's the troublemaker. So... Last time we started, actually, we went youngest first, so I think we have to flip the narrative. Anthony, you're going to go first. Okay. I right, so our board in front of us. Our first category, we have Pixar Miscellaneous. Second category, we have Sides, Please. Third category, we have Why He Do That. Fan favorite. Fourth category, we have Setting Matters. The fifth category, we have Main Squeeze. What would you like to start with? Wow, I'm curious. I don't know what some of these are going to end up being. Um, let's, let's do... Um, Let's do setting matters for 100. Okay. Setting matters for 100. What city does Ratatouille take place in? <laughs> I mean, this is not going to be easy. Wait, how much did you do for 100? Yeah. City. Ryan. Paris? That is correct. Whoa, guys, it wasn't Why that hard. I think it was going to be more complicated. I, I thought it was going to be like an obscure city. Oh, that's course. why I asked if it was the 100 question. Uh, uh, of course, right. I said Paris. Right, okay. Yeah, I should have known that too. Noobs. Let's do. <laughs> I don't, they're also interesting. Um, let's do main squeeze for one hundred. Main squeeze for one hundred. This fish sets out to find his son across the. Oh. Anthony. Ah, oh, Marlin. That is correct. Uh, All right, Anthony, where are you taking us? Um, let's do Pixar Miscellaneous for hundred. Pixar Miscellaneous for one hundred. What was the first Pixar movie? Tof. Oh, sorry. Nineteen ninety-five. Well, that is extra info, but that is correct. After three questions, we're all tied. Tof, would yeah. you like to... Um... Yeah. Can we get a why he do that 100? Next question is, why was Wally on the abandoned planet? Did, uh... How exact does my answer need to be? Uh, with it, well, it's like a... Well, humans basically ruined the Earth and made it unlivable. That is not specific enough. Really? Ryan? Yeah, wasn't he, like, uh, surveying the area or, like, waste collecting or something like that? Like... That is correct. To clean yes. it up, he was there to clean up the planet. Yes, 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 yes. So I told you to give you a minus. Does that mean I think I took the lead? Yeah, you did yeah. take the lead, and you took the board back. What's your next? Uh, where are we going with this one? Sides, please. For obviously one hundred, because I am a coward like everyone else. I'm too scared to go higher. This side character appears as Toy Pig in Toy Story. Oh, ham. That is correct. I knew there was going to be a ham question because Austin loves ham. <laughs> so, where would you like to take us this time? Mm, main squeeze 300. Main squeeze for 300. Is everybody ready? 300? Wait, is there a 200? Yeah. You went to three? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> this princess is great with a sword and Anthony. Merida. That is correct. Oh my god. I forgot her this name is Merida. Pixar. What were you going to say? Mulan. Mulan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do. Um, sides, please, 200. This monster is a secretary at the... Anthony. Googly bear? Wait, no, that's not her name, though. Oh, my gosh, what's her name? Oh, um, no. hold on. Oh, no, I buzzed in too early. I don't remember her name. C Celia. Uh, Celia. Yeah, it is Celia. That is, not? That's incorrect. Unless you're talking about Roz. That's Roz fine. is my guess. Roz. <laughs> Yay. So where would you like to take us? Pixar Miscellaneous for 200, please. Pixar Miscellaneous for 200. That is difficult to say. What is the most recent Pixar movie to release as of recording? Anthony? Luca. That is correct. Ooh. Only because Turning Red, by the time we're filming this, isn't out yet. But by the time you're watching this, it's out. So technically, Anthony got it wrong. All right. Let's do <laughs> fan favorite why he'd do that for 200. Why he'd do that for 200. Why did Woody need to be fixed in Toy Story 2? Anthony? I buzzed in too early. I don't remember. Uh, I, uh, a 
dog ripped him apart? It's honestly more than good enough. I just had his arm was ripped off. We'll take it. Okay. <laughs> what? S let's do setting for 200. Setting for 200. What country does the pre take place in Cars 2? Does the what? The pre. Toaf. France? That is incorrect. Uh, Anthony. Italy? That is correct. That is it. I knew I should have buzzed in. I should have buzzed in. Oh my God. I just was, pro I was like, what? What is he talking about? The pre What is a pre? Main squeeze 200. Ooh. Main squeeze for 200. Sorry. Before he can go to Scare Factory, this blue monster had to go to Monster University. Full name required, Ryan. I messed up. Full name required? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to say Sully and get it wrong. Yeah, that is incorrect. Tov? William P. Sullivan. That is incorrect as well. <laughs> it is James P. Sullivan. That is correct. Wait, isn't William and James no. like the same name? They're not. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, they are not. No. <laughs> All right. We have uh, Anthony. What do you have next? Um, <laughs> what a rip off. I got nothing to lose anymore, Ryan. <laughs> Let's go Pixar Miscellaneous for 300. Pixar Miscellaneous for 300. Yeah. How many Pixar movies are there as of recording? Oh, no. I don't know. I do, count, let me I'm, count. I'm too afraid to buzz in. I'm going to forget one if I try and count, so I'm not doing it. All right, we're going to let the question pass. We're going to let oh, it pass, yeah. but can I take a guess for fun? Yeah, yeah. 17? No, it's, it's four. It's 24. It is 24. Oh my goodness, I, I knew it! I would have guessed 22. <laughs> it is how, many, how many points was that question? 300. Sides, please. 300. <laughs> Sides, please, for 300. This character appears as a utensil toy in Toy Story 4. That is tof. Forky. That is correct. Woo! Setting 300. Setting for 300, all right. Setting matters for 300. What continent does the house in Up fly to? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, this is... Wait. Tofu would know this one of any of us. Is it um, South America? That is correct. Yes! Wow. All right, Tofu, what are, we, what are we feeling? How are we doing? Oh, why he do that? Why he do that for 300? To 300? To 300. Why did Fred Fredrickson want to fly his house away? That is tough. Because him and Ellie planned to go there when they were married, but she died and then they couldn't go. Wow, that's more than good enough. Huh? What is the name Russell gave the snipe in Up? How does Tov get three up questions in a row? <laughs> but does he know this one? I think you all got three up questions in a row. <laughs> yes. Kevin. That's correct. Wow. Oh, I knew that. I literally have a Funko Pop. That's Kevin and Up House. <laughs> Pixar Miscellaneous for 400. Pixar Miscellaneous. I promise you this isn't an up question. Are you sure? How many Pixar franchises have multiple iterations? Tov. Is it three? That is incorrect. Four. That is incorrect. Dang it. Yes. Five. That is correct. Yeah, Ryan, you're sitting with 400 now. Where are we going with the board? Uh, do we have any, like, uh, 100s available? How are you going to get back in the game playing with 100s? Main squeeze for 400. Main squeeze for 400, everybody. You ready? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> what was the good dinosaur's real name? Never saw it. His, wait, his real name? Yep. Arlo. That's correct. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's, let's do um, the same category, 500. Main squeeze for 500. This character takes over. Lightning McQueen's role in Cars 3. Anthony. Cruz Ramirez. That is correct. Setting matters 400. Oh my god, where we're going with this? What city does Seoul take place in? Oh my god. Oh, New York City? That is correct. I thought is so. Is it New York City? It yeah, it is. New York City. Let's get the last 400 out of the way. Why'd he do that? Why'd he do that for 400? Why was Riley so upset towards the beginning of Inside Out? I wrote up on the board. I gotta change that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so confused with <laughs> Well, no one can get this right. <laughs> yes, that's you, Tove. Because they moved away from her friends and her old house, and she doesn't like her new home. Yeah, she I had to move across country. earlier. I knew it. Yeah, I knew it, too. Sides, please. Sides, please. For 500, everybody, we got it locked in. <clears throat> what is the name of the human the emotions ride around in, in Inside Out? I, I don't even know what you said. What, no, said what is the name of the human the emotions ride around in in Inside Out? Tove? Riley? Yeah. You still have favor of the um, board. Let's go with miscellaneous 500. This actor is claimed to have voiced in every single Pixar movie. That is Toph. Ratzenberg. I need a first name too. Uh, John. That's correct. <laughs> yes! <laughs> he actually did get it wrong. It's Ratzenberger. Ah, uh, uh, that's fair. count. No, got it wrong. Minus points. Toph keeps the favor. I'm going to say setting manager for 500. What planet did the life forms evacuate after it became inhabitable in Wally? Ryan. 
Earth? That's correct. <laughs> I was like, is it that easy? Uh, the last remaining question, Ryan, it's why he do that. 500. Wait, that's it? Yeah. We're done? No, no, well, we have the- time, There's another- This is round two, times two points. Oh, okay, good, good. I was gonna say. Am I in last? Uh, Anthony's down 200 on you, but this could change everything. Okay, why he do that? Why did Lightning McQueen have to repave the road in Radiator Springs? Anthony? He ruined it. That is correct. Well, everybody, uh, to round out the first half of the game, we have Toast sitting pretty at 2,600. Anthony, not too far behind at 1,600. And then Ryan, not too far behind that at 1,300. The next round is actually times two points, so it's pretty easy to make a comeback. And the think our competitors are feeling a little bit type of way about that making that comeback. Right, Anthony and Ryan? How you guys feeling? Yes. All right. <laughs> That's all I can ask for at the end of the day. We'll be right back. <laughs> our first category we have is... Who said that? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Our next category, we have A-listers. Our third category is big baddies. <laughs> number four is obscurity. And number five is explained badly. Now, last time I checked, I do believe Anthony had the board. I'm curious about what obscurity is. So let's do obscurity for 200. Who did Mike and Sully meet in the North Pole? That would be Anthony. No! The Abominable Snowman. That is correct. Oh. Let's, gosh, A-listers is going to be very hard. Why? I feel like that's an easy one. No. Oh, you want to see? A-listers for 200. Who plays Frozone in Incredibles? Oh, it's like the real people. Yeah. Who plays Frozone? Oh, oh you guys are going to be cooked with this category. I have no idea. Well, you guys can't get this one. It's doomsday for this one. I, I, only, uh, no. I feel like I have a Wait, guess. I feel like I know this too. I feel like I have a guess, but I'm too scared. I'm too afraid to answer also. Yeah. It's 200 points. What do I got to lose? I'm going to take the chance. Who is it? Samuel yes, L. Jackson. Sir. No yes. way! Samuel oh, thank Jackson. God, because I would not have guessed him. Big bads for 200. <laughs> it, it's baddies. Big, big, big baddies. Big baddies <laughs> for 200. <laughs> Who is Budge's evil arch nemesis? Zerg. That is correct. Who said that for 200? Who said that for 200? Speed. Lightning McQueen. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even get to finish it. Tof, it's back to you. Explained badly for 200. Explained badly for 200. Um, emotions with emotions. Anthony. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> who said that? No, 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 this is not who said that. This Wait, is ex explained badly. You have to name the movie. Oh, oh Inside Out. Yes, Inside oh, Out. Oh, I forgot the category. Um, let's do who said that for 400. Who said that for 400? To infinity. Anthony. Buzz Lightyear. That is correct. I thought I... Was I at least second? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do Obscurity for 400. Obscurity for 400? Who's this green car trying to get a Dynaco sponsorship? Tof? Richiga. Well, what's the name? What's his name? <laughs> um, Chick Hex. That is correct. Big baddies for 1,000. Who tries to kill Russell and Fredrickson? Yeah, I think we're passing. His name was Charles Muntz. Who said that for 600? Put that thing back where it came. Anthony? Mike Wazowski. That is correct. I'm afraid of this category, but let's just do A-listers for 400. Oh, no. A-listers for 400. Who plays Joe in Soul? I can't even remember what his voice sounds like. Anthony? Jamie Foxx. That is correct. Big Bad is 400. Who is the final villain shown in Incredibles? Ryan. Do I have to get the name right? You did, I don't. You don't think Can it, I just you, say it was the the guy like digging the tunnel, like the mole I, guy? Like he was like digging he had the I big drill. I will give you it because you said mole. It's mole man. Yeah. Let's do explain badly for a thousand. Oh wow! Explain badly for one thousand. Everybody has a question up, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Musically talented. F Tof. Soul. Yeah. Ooh, no, that's incorrect. Ryan, you buzzed. I was second. You didn't buzz. I didn't buzz. Ryan. Two. Three? What about the eight second thing? That was before anybody even buzzed in. It was, we were trying to get a question off. All right. Can you read me the rest of the question? Musically talented family, even in the afterlife. Oh my goodness. Coco. The Coco's. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you say? Obscurity for 800. Obscurity for 800. Is everybody ready? This is for 800. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to just throw it all out. Throw it all in. Who designs the incredible superhero suits? Toph. Is it Edna Mode? That is correct. Yeah. Explain badly for 400. Okay. So this is a little uh, a little lighter on us. We got parent looking for his lost child. Oh, oh. Nemo. That's correct. Oh. A-list is sitting pretty. Do it. I don't Do know. it for 1,000, you coward. Do it. A-list is for 1,000, everybody. <laughs> Do it. I hope Ryan loses all his points. <laughs> Who plays Gil in Finding Nemo? 
Who? Who's oh? Who's Gil? Gil. I want I want everybody to know I did not know who played this person before I found this out. Who is Gil? He's Buzzer. Anthony. William Defoe. That is correct. It was William Defoe. Obscurity a thousand. Obscurity one thousand. The aliens in Toy Story refer the claw. That's correct. Six hundred. Explain badly, please. Six hundred. Explain bad. Remember, this is the movie. You just need the movie name. Cooking vermin in a big Anthony. Ratatouille. That's correct. Explained badly for 800. I need this. Sea monsters? Luca. Ryan. Luca. That's correct. What? <laughs> <laughs> what makes you <laughs> he never even called you. Yeah. I didn't even hear your thing. You, he, he never, never even said, said your name. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even say your name, though. Big baddies, 800. What was the villain's name in Coco? Ryan. De La Cruz. Ernesto De La Cruz. Yeah, Ernesto De La Cruz. Nice. I will give it to you. 600 big baddies. Gotcha. Big bad. Send them in. This stuffed animal, or sorry, the stuffed animal. Tove. Lotto. Hmm? Lotto? Man. Can I get like a more full name? Um, the guy from Sunnyside. Lotto the bear. Yeah. Is that his name? That is, that's not going to do it, sadly. The next person to buzz was Anthony. I believe Lotto. it's Oh, so. uh, it's too late. I've no, already, it's not. I X'd you out, dude. Yeah, yeah it's it's definitely, definitely, definitely too late. And you definitely just gave it I Anthony. believe it's Lotso, yeah. Lotso Huggins, I believe. Yeah, Lotso Huggin Bear. Yeah. yeah. Anthony, where are we going? Um, Let's do <laughs> A-listers for 600. A-listers for 600. Who plays Joy in Inside Out? That is Anthony. Tina Fey. That me? That is incorrect. Dang. That me? That, the second movie, it is Tof. Amy Poehler. That is correct. Oh, yeah. It is Amy Poehler. Dang. Let's let's just uh, do the last obscurity one for 600. What was the octopus's name in Finding Dory? Mm. I have no idea. Finding Dory was so long ago. Everybody would like to pass on it? Yeah. It was Hank. 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 Oh. Yeah, okay. Hank what a very octopus, octopus name. I do believe this is back to Tof. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You got the A-listers right. You had a-listers 800? Yeah. So A-listers 800. Who plays Ian Lightfoot in Onward? Ryan. Ian Lightfoot, right? Yeah. That's who you said? Uh, Tom Holland. That is correct. Let's do who said that for 1,000. 1,000 first. <clears throat> Take her to the... Dove. <sighs> Bing bong. That's correct. Yeah. Rest in peace. Take her to the moon for me. Take Bing her to bong. the moon for me. Ah. And then the final question. Just keep swimming. That is Toph. Dory. That is correct. Woo. So we end the second to last round or the second round with Toph sitting at 6,400, Anthony sitting at 5,000, and Ryan sitting at 3,300. This is still technically anyone's game. If Ryan were to bet all of his points and Toph were to bet none, Ryan would then win. So we're going to move to final Jeopardy, everybody. Does everybody know how this works? No. So. We have to make our wager before... The question. Yes, that is correct. So everybody text me your wager number. How does this work? Do we get to write our answer down? You're going to have to write your answer down, and I'm going to ask you all to reveal it once everybody has it. I'm going to say the question. Everybody write your answer down. Do not say it out loud. And then eventually, after like 30 seconds, I'll say, I ask Ryan, I ask Anthony, and I ask you because you know you all have it written down. You can't change it. The question will be based on Monsters, Inc. There is a factory code. When something goes awry in the factory, it's called a 2319. Why is it called a 2319? That is your question. Why? I thought it was. I thought the question. You were leading me to think that the question was going to be the number, yeah. the twenty-three nineteen. I, I know what happens when they call. Is are that you, what you're asking? Are for? you asking what causes a twenty-three nineteen? There's a direct reason why the the number is twenty-three nineteen. Is it explained in the movie? I do not believe so. No. Oh, what? <laughs> it's, a, it's some it's some Pixar trivia, people. It is it is confirmed by the writers, and so it's not like a fan theory. It is confirmed that this is why it is called that. I guess go, right? Yeah. So if you want to start us off? Sure. What did you have written down? All I thought about was how um, the initials, I guess, of 2319 yeah. kind of come out to TNT. Okay. So I'm that assuming is, that's not the answer. That is incorrect. But you were on the right path and you said initials. You scared me for a second. Anthony, what would you say? Initials. Well, that's definitely not the right answer then. Yeah. Um, I said that uh, it was the dorm number that some call it, some of the writers at Pixar stayed in. That is also incorrect. I think that's A113. Um, I wrote Toy Story because I was thinking it had to do with uh, Andy. That is also incorrect. Let's see the values before I reveal what the answer is. <sighs> Ryan, you are at zero. Kof, <laughs> you are at zero. Anthony, you are at 1,000. 
thus making you the winner. You guys want to know the answer? 2319 is called a 2319 because it is when a white sock is stuck to a monster and W is the 23rd letter of the alphabet and S is the 19th letter of the alphabet. So they refer to it as a 2319. Oh! Yeah, so it's when that white sock is on somebody, they call it 2319. Wow, okay. Austin, where can they find you? You can catch me at Lightning McMurphy on YouTube. I've been playing a lot of uh, Pokemon and some Kirby's coming out. So I'm gonna have Anthony on for that Kirby shenanigans too. Yes, so you guys we gotta do that. Check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. What other Jeopardy categories would you wanna see us do in the future? Let us know. We could have Austin put it together for us. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a like. Leave a comment down below letting us know what you thought. And subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when we post new videos. Follow us on Instagram at Cult235 and on TikTok at RealCult235 for some extra bonus content. And that is about it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll see you guys again next week with a brand new video. Bye, guys. Peace.